Hello friends, my name is Sanita Gupta. So in this video, I am going to explain you about species. So normally, what is mean by species? Species is a basic unit of classification which consists of a living organisms, group of living organisms. That's nothing but I have see here, and this all of these species should consist of common individual. So for example, there are different type of species. For and for example, I have take here, I have took here cats and dogs. There is nothing but the red color which I have drawn. Normally, it consists of how many individuals? The dotted color, the dot structures which I have drawn is nothing but individuals. So normally, uh, seven individuals are there in that box, and the, all of that seven individuals should be similar. So it consists, it consists of similar type of organism. So all of that group of living organisms which consists of that same individuals is known as species. So what is that individual? It is cat. So all of the seven organisms will be cat, and this all of the seven organisms uh, which are in the group which consists of a same common individual type is known as species that is nothing but which species this all of the seven organisms belongs to it belongs to cat in the same way if you take here totally how in dogs totally how many organisms are there in that eight eight living organisms are present in the dog and all of that eight organisms which are present in that uh, in that you know in that category all of that should belong to same type of individual so all of that eight individuals comes under the species of dogs okay so not only this, this is a just common examples. Some of the examples you can take like Apis indica, Apis uh, dorsata, Apis malifera. So, so coming to the next, this species is a Latin word. This species is a Latin word and what is the meaning of that species is kind or appearance. Kind or appearance. And normally there are four scientists involved here and each of the scientists written their own book in which consists of the information on species and first scientist name is John Ray second is Linnaeus third is Buffon and fourth is Charles Darwin so first let us know what is the book which was written by John Ray so Historia Generalis Plantarum is a book which was written by John Ray so what is the main purpose of that book is he used that species that he used the name species he used the term species and he described it on the basis of the common descent of morphological similar, similar organisms that's nothing but in that book it consists of information on similar organisms morphological similar organisms okay and this is the main content of this book Historia generalis plantarum which was written by john ray so coming to the second one Linnaeus. so he he wrote systema naturae Systema Naturae is a book which was written by Linnaeus. So what is the main content which is present in that book is that it, it uh, indicates the basic unit of classification. It gives, the, it gives the information of basic unit of classification. That is nothing but I have explained you here, right? What is meant by basic of classification? Basic unit of classification. So all of that information was written by Linnaeus in the book called Systema Naturae. And the third scientist is Buffon. So what is the book which is written by Buffon is Natural History. So what is the main content in the natural history is that he he gave the idea of evolution of species where you know it comes under the concept of biological concept of evolution comes under biological concept of evolution that is nothing but uh, evolution of species is nothing but uh, origin of species origin of species uh, which will be done by natural selection so that is the main purpose uh, that is the main content of the book which is present in natural history which was proposed by Buffon and coming to the fourth, fourth one Charles Darwin so what is the main oh, and what is the book which was written by Charles Darwin origin of species and he gave uh, many publications of this book he gave many publications that is nothing but this origin of species consists of different uh, different groups and different types of books and all of the type of books which were published which was written by Charles Darwin so and what is the name of the book origin of species and Normally, uh, Buffon, Buffon introduction is nothing but he gave the book known as Natural History, named Natural History. And what is the main content which is present in that book is that I have explained you that uh, it explains that species. So that is nothing but yeah, I have seen here. Uh, and it is an interpreting group of similar individuals normally it shares the common gene pool from its parents. That is nothing but for example I have said you here if you take cat. So normally if you see here this is a male parent, male parent of one cat and this is a female parent of cat and that's nothing but copulation takes place with similar organisms and mainly forms a fertile individual and mainly forms a fertile individual that is nothing but a male cat which consists of a type of species 
will copulate with same type of species but but the gender is different that's nothing but here is a male and here is a female but species is same that's nothing but what is that species cat here is a male cat and here is a female cat when this undergoes copulation then it mainly forms a fertile individual and that fertile individual will also belongs to the same species because uh, the copulation belongs to the same species itself so the so the individual will also be the spe same species and that's what given by this buffon and this type of uh, mating is also known as preferential mating and the other name of this preferential mating is assortative mating so what is meant by assortative mating this is one of the important question which will be asked in your entrance examinations so what is meant by this preferential mating or assortative mating is nothing but normally this mating normally this preferential mating or assortative mating is nothing but it is a type of mating where uh, the it is a it is a pattern where the form of sexual selections in which individual with same similar phenotypes in such a way that which it undergoes copulation with another phenotype of which belongs to the same species then it mainly forms a common individual and that common individual which is formed will also belong to the same species okay this is nothing but preferential mating or which is also known as assortative mating so normally this uh, species it is considered as a group of individuals how it is considered as a group of individuals because of this following units so what is there are four, there are total four types of units which are mainly follows a breeding unit and ecological unit a genetic unit and evolutionary unit so let us discuss each about the each unit so first one is a breeding unit breeding unit is nothing but it is a reproductively isolated from individuals of other species that's nothing but it is reproductively uh, it is deeper it is reproductively far away from the individuals of other species and if you see a second one an ecological unit ecological unit is nothing but all of these individuals will share the same ecological environment that is nothing but for example if you take uh, cows for example if you take cows and that cows where does this cows live it lives in a grassland areas where there is a available of grass then only that there is a presence of that cows that is nothing but it shares the same ecological environment so i have said you here cats if you take in this in the place of cats if you take cows how there are totally many individuals which belongs to the same species and what is the name of the species the name of the species is nothing but cows in further example which i have explained you in ecological unit and where are this cows lives in cows lives in the grassland areas so it shares the same ecological unit that is nothing but it shares same ecological environment and this is about the ecological unit and coming to the genetic unit so what is nothing but this is nothing but it receives the same type of karyotype that is nothing but i have explained you here so this is uh, if you take a, again if you take a cow or else a buffalo uh, which belongs to one of the species and if that species will mate with another species another uh, individual of similar species that's nothing but if the cow uh, or else if you take a cat or else if you take a dog when this dog will mate with another dog which belongs to the common similar species then it mainly forms an individual of the fertile it, then it mainly forms a fertile individual so uh, this is nothing but a genetic unit so genetic unit is nothing but it shows the or else it shares the similarity in the karyotype okay coming to the evolutionary unit uh, normally it consists of the similar structure that is nothing but if you take cat again normally each of the cat which mainly forms after copulation it mainly forms the individuals right and the formed individuals and parent individuals will have the same structure right will have the same structure after copulation after giving birth the individual which is mainly formed and the parent will have the same structures and even the functional characteristics also that is nothing but if, if the cat it drinks milk in the same way this also drinks milk that is nothing but the fertile individual which is mainly formed after copulation will also drinks milk in such a way that this is nothing but evolutionary unit so what is meant by evolutionary unit it is nothing but it shows the same similar structure and similar functional characteristics similar structure is nothing but it consists of same legs nose eyes as well as the parent individual and functional unit is also nothing but it performs the same functions that's nothing but uh, it moves and this also moves individual is mainly formed and it drinks milk and this also drinks milk so this is about the evolutionary unit and dogs as is a only scientist he introduced the medial population for the species and this normally shows preferential mating preferential mating and what is meant by preferential mating i have explained to you before preferential mating which is also known as 
assortative meeting assortative meeting or as preferential meeting is nothing but when these both when these both individuals which belongs to the same species uh, will undergo copulation and mainly forms a fertile individual and that fertile individual which is mainly formed also belong to the same species which belongs to the parent that is nothing but if for example if you take a if you take dog the male dog when it is mated with female dog then the fertile individual which is mainly formed will also be a dog so what is the common species which is present in this assortative mating dog so this is known as preferential mating which is also known as assortative mating and what is the best example for this uh, for to explain the species is say i have explained you this what well, this is a common examples cat dogs buffalo are the common examples and scientific examples are apis indica apis dorsata apis mellifera and uh, apis floria are the common examples uh, to explain the species and this apis indica which i have said you that's nothing but apis indica apis mellifera apis uh, you know dorsata and floria all of this consists of different species but all of that species belongs to the same genus and that genus name is known as apis because uh, if you say if you see the normally the scientific name consists of genus and species so it is nom it is nomenclated with genus genus name and species name so if you take example of apis indica apis comes under genus and indica comes under species so what are the four examples which i have given there apis indica apis dorsata apis mellifera and apis floria so apis indica here apis is genus and indica is species not only indica dorsata mellifera floria all, all of this comes under species so so this apis indica apis dorsata apis mellifera and apis floria all of this comes under the same genus so what is meant by genus genus is nothing but apis which is the first word of the scientific name see here so here are the four examples apis indica apis mellifera apis dorsata and apis floria so the first word in that scientific name indicates genus and the second word in that scientific name indicates species so this all of these four examples consists of similar genus but all of these four examples consists of different species so similar genus and similar sorry different species so all of the similar genus why have you why have said you similar genus because all of the genus name consists of same apis 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 so these are the scientific name what is this common what are the common names for this indica mellifera dorsata and floria so he, if you see here apis indica uh, the common name of this apis indica is normal honey bee normal honey bee apis mellifera is nothing but western honey bee and apis dorsata is nothing but giant honey bee and apis floria is nothing but dwarf honey bee so all of this uh, if you see at the species is different but the genus is same apis 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 and apis so this is uh, this is one of the uh, one of the characteristic which can be seen in this in this classification of the species so thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video please do like and subscribe and if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment in the comment box i will clarify your doubts immediately thank you